are in the sea, all that are in them, I heard the same. Blessing and honor and glory and power be to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb forever and ever. Even hell will acknowledge God and his greatness. Right. No, they won't be saved. No, they won't have a second chance. But every nation, every people, every bit of eternity will bow to Jesus Christ. Why? Because he's Lord of Lords. And he's King of Kings. Will you worship from him? Hebrews 10 and 25 says, Let us not neglect our meeting together. And he's talking about corporate worship. What we're doing here on Sunday morning, as some people do, but encourage and warn each other, especially now that the day of his coming again is drawing near. You need to know something. Yes, no man knows the day or the hour. Not the angels in heaven or not the Son of Man himself. But you need to know something. It's getting closer by the second. I didn't plan on it. I'm, I'm not going to preach, you know, in time today. But, you know, there's another blood moon that's supposed to happen tonight. And, and it's going to happen. And it is in the apocalyptic or whatever um, uh, moon that is the one to happen before he returns. I don't know. But I want you to know I want to be worshiping when he does come. Yes. Regardless of which one it is and all the other signs and the times that are prelude, yeah, uh, proceed, uh, he's coming. I think that's the right word. Uh, but you need to know something. God's looking for worshipers. Right. He said, as the day of the Lord's coming together, stand with me this morning. Matthew chapter 24, verse 31. He said, and I will send four angels with the sound of a mighty trumpet blast. And they were gathered together, his chosen ones, from the father's ends of heaven and earth. There ain't nothing about hell in there. That's right. You know what? There's not going to be a gathering from hell. Nope. Nope. He'll only gather those that are in eternity with him and those that are on the earth that are for him. Will you worship him? Don't wait till eternity. Don't wait till you're in hell. I know this is Almost two weeks in a row, I preached such a serious message, but I believe this with all my heart is for such a time as this because we never know when we might go and meet Him in eternity. And if you don't know, you need to make sure you know. And if you don't know Jesus today and you haven't been born again, you need to be born again. Jesus said, except a man be born of the water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. It's important to be born again. Amen.